Welcome everybody to the second world conference on congenital disorders of glycosylation. We should be all proud of what we have been doing since two years ago. All together we can uh, do things differently and on the benefit of all CDG families. Again, it is a real world congress. We have families as well as professionals from all continents all over the world. In the two years since the first Congress, many things of course happened, but most important, novel treatments have been found. Mercedes Serrano will now try to give an insight into the brain mysteries of CDG. You know there are more than 100 CDGs, different CDGs, and in this slide I want to show you some clinical things or key neurological things that gi can give us a clue about what type of CDG is underlying the neurological uh, disturbance. So enjoy and uh, ask many questions to the medical doctors and basic researchers if this is the moment. I'm very excited about being here to meet with this group again and to meet with the true experts who are the people sitting in the room here. Because you live with these disorders 24 hours a day, I like the opportunity to sit down and talk to people and learn from you. It's a, a multi-system disorder with uh, uh, an ongoing mechanism. We've received so much information over the past two days and we've learned um, particularly today about groundbreaking research and therapies that are, that are currently being available for some patients as well as on the forefront for many others. The next third world conference on CDG will be in Leuven, Belgium. CDG is a rare disease, but care cannot be rare.